Okay, let's get on our mats. We're gonna start in a Supta Baddha Konasana. A reclined bound angle, so feet together, knees open, and laying on your back. If you have a block or a pillow that you can place under your upper back for some extra heart opening, shoulder opening, then you can find one and place it there as well. I'm gonna use my block and place it in the middle of my upper back. Just take a moment here. Bring your hands to your belly or to wherever's comfortable for you. I'm gonna put my hands in the earth mudra, which is like this, thumbs and index fingers together in this like diamond shape. And the other fingers are open and then you can place that on your belly, helping us feel more grounded, more heart opening. more earthy, connecting us to our mother nature. hip opener. If you need extra support for the knees, you can place pillows under the knees if the hip opener is too much for you. from the movement in your belly to your hands. And how does that make you feel? Slowly start to get up and remove your prop. Block your pillow. Come back down towards the ground. We're gonna put our feet down. We're gonna enter a little bridge movement. Get some blood flowing, circulation flowing in the hips area and the pelvic area. We're gonna inhale the hands overhead until it gets to the ground. Exhale, we're gonna bring the hands back over and we're gonna lift the hips and make an S sound, the letter S, like snake with your mouth. And inhale back up. Through the nose, drop the hips. Exhale, S sound. Make sure you're pressing into your feet that your knees are forward. Inhale, drop the hips, hands come overhead. Exhale. 
Give me a couple more at your own pace. stomach being activated lightly, your pelvic region being activated as well, glutes, warming up that whole pelvic region. And also by releasing sound, you become more relaxed as well. One more. down towards the ground. Keeping our feet where they're placed, we're gonna bring the knees towards the left side. Coming into a gentle twist, not too, op not too deep. Opening the arms towards your sides. You're gonna look towards the right side and massage your armpit with your left hand. Yes, massage your armpit. It's a really good practice to do to help the draining of the lymphatic system. Just like blood circulation, except blood circulation is pumped by the heart, so there's an active energy moving it. Whereas the lymphatic draining system is just moved by movement, by touch, by contracting of the muscles. So really practicing yoga is really nice, but an extra massage here to the armpit and lymphatic system here gives an extra help. You can also do um, dry breast massages from your extremities towards the center. There's a lot of great systems to help that, to help your lymphatic system. And don't be afraid to get all up in that armpit. Slowly come back to center, bringing the feet towards the ground, bringing the knees towards the right side, twisting towards the left. Opening that left arm, bring that right hand over to get all up in that left armpit. Massaging it out, helping us release any blockages. any debris that needs extra help to drain out. And slowly come back to center. From here we'll come up onto our elbows slowly. And we'll bring our right leg over our left knee, coming into a nice hip stretch. If you want more intensity here, you can come up onto your hands. And make sure that your spine is straight and your heart is open still and you're not just curving in the spine and collapsing into your hands. And a nice open chest here, long spine. For even more intensity, you can straighten the left leg that's underneath. And come into this like almost boat pose with this extra stretch, or you can stay here just at the beginning of our practice, warming up that right hip joint. Make sure you're flexing in the right foot as well, protecting that knee. Take your right hand if you feel comfortable balancing on your left and pushing a little bit, just slightly on the right knee to open it up even more, go a little bit deeper. Lots of yummy variations here. And switch sides. Right foot on the ground, left foot comes up. 
towards the top of the thigh, right, right on top of the knee almost. Flex in the left foot. Again, choose your variation of arms. You can either be on the elbows or the hands. Just make sure your heart is open. Shoulders are back, spine is long. And the direction of the knee is pushing outwards. You can do this energetically, or you can use your left hand slightly with no real pressure, just a little bit of a push to go deeper into that left hip joint. Or straighten the right leg you're feeling beastly right now. <laughs> and come back down to center, both feet on the ground. You can bring the hands a little bit more behind you. We're gonna inhale and exhale into reverse tabletop. So inhale, press into your hands, press into your feet, lift your hips, drop your head back. Exhale, drop the hips back down towards the ground. Take a seat. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Do a little more at your own pace. Feel free to move more slowly or more fast. Um, whatever feels more comfortable for you at this time. In your body. Center. Cross your legs coming into a seat. Bring your hands towards your knees and just take a moment here in your seat. Feeling if you're coming in too much of a back bend and letting the belly fall too forward. So bring the belly back. Feel that nice neutral long spine. The heart is open, shoulders roll back and down. A second, a couple deep breaths here before we continue in our movements. And we'll slowly start rotating the upper body, adding some movement in the hips, circling in one direction. You can make this more intense by adding this cat-cow movement in your circle, or you can keep this neutral spine. Just work from the hips, really. If you're pregnant and you have a belly, this might feel nicer to work with a straight spine instead of coming into that back bend that you probably are already doing anyways, slightly. And change direction. Just letting that energy flow freely from your pelvic region. Keeping those joints lubricated. hands towards the ground and come into your tabletop slowly taking a moment here just to wiggle the hips in a neutral spine wagging your tail almost like a little ab crunch towards the sides the back should be neutral make sure you're not sinking the belly towards the ground come onto our toes and lift our hips up into our downward dogs. Hips move back, bring the weight towards your feet instead of everything in your hands. 
Let's just take a moment here in our first downward dog. Do any movement that feels good to you. Or you can hold a static down dog for a moment. I like to walk out the legs a bit. Maybe wag my tail again like we just did in tabletop. Then we'll walk our feet slowly towards the center of our mat. Inhale the hands up. Exhale, hands to heart center. And open the hands by your sides. Feet are open as well, maybe a little bit wider than hips distance. Just take a moment in your Tadasana. You can do this with your legs closed as well. Usually for women, it's more comfortable to stand with this wider stand since we have some womenly hips. So usually this will feel more comfortable. But if you feel like you wanna bring your feet together, you can do that as well. Close your eyes. Just feel the weight on your feet for a moment. How your body is balancing on them. And if your body weight is completely in the center, if you feel any imbalances, like your belly coming too forward, if you do feel that, and just do a nice mini pelvic tilt towards the back, keeping that spine safe, no tension in the lower back. If you feel like your knees are locked backwards, then maybe micro bend them a little bit. Anything you feel like you can do to make sure that body weight stays right on the center over your feet. Let's take a moment and try to externally rotate your thighs from the inside to the outside without moving your legs. It shouldn't be visual. It's just a feeling inside that you're turning your thighs outward and automatically your pelvic should come forward, your belly should come back, your lower back should be more supported and your legs are way more active. So just standing like this is a great practice at any time of the day, even outside of yoga, to strengthen your stance and make sure you're standing correctly and uh, safely so that you don't feel any pain throughout the day from any bad standing postures. And you should feel that it's actually really active, maybe becoming a bit sore just from holding this active external rotation for just a couple of moments. Inhale the hands up, then grab your right wrist, exhale coming to the left side, into a nice little side bend here, make sure your chest stays forward, you're not collapsing downwards, just a nice side bend here, gentle side bend. Inhale back to center. Exhale, switch sides, grabbing your left wrist with your right hand, coming towards the right side. Look towards the left. Come back to center, inhale. Exhale, drop the hands. Inhale, bring the hands up, back of the hands touching. Making sure we're still keeping those shoulders open. Exhale, bring the hands out to cactus hands, 90 degrees away from the body on each side, and the shoulders want to touch each other, the shoulder blades. So open up that chest forward without entering the lower back here. It's just upper chest. Making sure we're not really arching in the lower back. The, the legs are still externally rotated. Our core is still a little bit active protecting the lower back. Inhale the hands up, back of the hands touching. Exhale, bring them to your side, cactus hands, shoulders want to touch. You can look up too if that feels comfortable. Inhale back up. Exhale, cactus hands.
Inhale, back up. Back of the hands touching. Exhale, cactus hands. Let's do two more. Inhale up. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Really great shoulder opener, heart opener. Inhale, the hands back up. Exhale, dropping the knees, coming into a chair pose. And the chair pose can be as low as you want. It doesn't have to be low at all. You can just stay at a little mini micro bench or a bit lower, depending on how you feel today. Again, making sure we're not arching too much in the lower back, tucking that pelvis in, externally rotating the thighs the whole time in our standing postures or trying. Inhale, look up. Exhale, twist towards the right. Mini twist here, looking towards your right hand. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, twist towards the left. Inhale, center. Exhale, right. Inhale, center. Exhale, left. A couple more. Inhale, up. Exhale, right. Inhale up, exhale left, two more, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, last one, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, come back to center, straighten the legs, Look up towards your hands, long bodies here, space in between every vertebrae. Exhale, bring your hands behind your back, interlace them. Pull them down away from your body. Opening that heart, opening your shoulders. Inhale, look up. Exhale, drop down into a forward fold with an extra shoulder stretch. Again, feel free to widen your stance as much as you need or keep the legs together if that's comfortable for you. Just relax here in this forward fold posture. No need to actively work, just letting gravity do the work and your hands falling overhead slowly, slowly, deeper and deeper. Inhale, slowly come back up. <laughs> switch hand, switch fingers to what's less comfortable for you. So right now, if you're gripping with the left thumb in front, so switch so the right thumb's in front. Inhale, open the chest again. Exhale, coming back down. Forward fold. still breathing deeply here. Every exhale, maybe allowing the hands to release a little bit deeper overhead. And slowly bring your hands towards the ground in front of you and bring that right foot all the way back, adjusting yourself to inhale into a warrior two. In our warrior two, our left leg should be in a straight line towards our back leg with a direct line from our heel to the middle of our back foot to feel super stable. Knee should be over the ankle. You can close the ankle a bit if you don't want to work too deeply on the hips here. Or have a nice deep wide angle. Inhale the hands to shoulder height. And we're gonna take 10 deep breaths here. Make sure your spine is still aligned in the center of your upper body. You don't need to lean forward in your warrior two. Just looking toward the left hand. The whole upper body and torso should stay in the center above your hips. And again, make sure you're not arching in the lower back and tilting that booty out. We wanna 
Tilt the hips forward, protect the lower back. Here we'll bring our left elbow to our left knee and inhale that right hand overhead. Coming into a variation of side angle pose. You can bring the hand overhead for an extra shoulder opening, extra shoulder and arm activator, keeping it in line with the leg or overhead. Look up towards your right hand, 10 deep breaths. Inhale, slowly come up, and we'll come into a reverse warrior for 10 breaths. Right hand comes to your right leg. You can keep it on your hip, on your thigh, or on your shin, depending how deep you wanna go, but make sure that knee stays over the ankle and the left leg, and that you don't end up just straightening the leg to, to find a deeper place with the right hand. Look up towards your left hand. 10 breaths. Slowly come back up, windmill the hands back down towards your left foot, and bring that right foot to meet it, either at hips distance a little bit wider or together, depending on your practice today. And take a deep breath here for a moment. You can dangle side to side, adding some movement, maybe grabbing elbows before we enter the next set. Here we'll bring the left leg back and enter warrior two on the opposite side. I'm gonna turn around so you can see me. Make sure the knee is over the ankle and not internally um, rotating. It shouldn't be falling towards the center, which sometimes happen, happens. So make sure the knee is over the ankle and facing the same direction as your toes. Spine aligned in the center, not leaning right or left. Look towards the right, make sure the shoulders are relaxed, but still reaching outwards. 10 breaths. Slowly bring that right elbow to that right knee. Inhale the left hand overhead, either st staying straight overhead or even beyond, coming in a straight line with your left leg. 10 breaths. Inhale, slowly raise up your warrior two. Exhale, leaning back into your reverse warrior. Making sure the knee is still over ankle and not leaning inwards. Look up towards your right hand and deep breath. And 
slowly windmill the hands back down towards your front leg, towards the front of the mat. Take a moment, both feet together. Again, dangling. And from here, we'll sit in Vidrasana. Vidrasana. Knees together, feet together, thunderbolt pose. Just take a moment here before we continue. This is a great pose to sit with a nice neutral spine. It should feel really nice and straight. There's not really much room to come into a back bend here. Usually, automatically your spine will feel nice and neutral in this seating posture. I'll turn towards you. Inhale the hands up. Exhale, we're gonna go into eagle arms, Garudasana arms, which means we'll take the left hand in front, right hand over and intertwine the hands, coming into a nice shoulder stretch. Inhale, reach the hands as high as you can away from the body, the body up. Exhale, come back to center. You can even curl a bit inwards if that's comfortable. Stay looking at the crease of your right elbow. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. A couple more at your own pace. Center. Inhale, release the hands back up. Exhale, switch sides. Right hand comes forward first, left hand on top. Intertwine the hands together, palms to palm. Inhale, raise the hands up as high as you can, opening up those shoulders. Yes, you should feel a really nice deep stretch in the back of your shoulders. All over your shoulders, really. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. A couple more at your own pace. center. Inhale the hands back up. Exhale the hands down. And do one more breathing arm exercise. Inhale the hands will open up behind you, opening up that heart all the way forward. Exhale, give yourself a nice hug. One arm over the other. Inhale, open. Exhale, switch arms, whatever's on top and bottom. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. A couple more at your own pace. the hands to your thighs and we'll cross our feet underneath and sit on our backs lowering down all the way from 
here, we'll straighten out the legs. And take that right knee to the outside, to your right armpit. It doesn't have to be the chest, especially if you have a little belly. So bring that knee to your armpit and just pull that for a moment. Feeling this nice compression in the hip. These circles of the ankle joints in one direction. And circling in the other direction. And then we'll take our hand to our knee and just circle that knee around. Feel free to bend the left knee if that makes you feel more stable. Or you can keep it nice and straight. And circle in the other direction. And we'll switch legs. Straightening the right leg, bringing that left knee in, hugging it close to our left armpit. And circling the left ankle in one direction. And then to the other direction. Left hand to left knee. Just circle around that knee in one direction. Again, you can lift the right leg and place your foot down on the ground if that makes you feel more stable in your movement. And circling in the other direction. Both knees now to opposite shoulders, uh, opposite armpits. No, same armpits. <laughs> right knee to right armpit, left knee to left armpit. Just hold that for a moment. And we'll deepen this just a little bit, taking the outside of our feet, coming to happy baby. Make sure the lower back and sacrum is gently on the ground, not lifting up into the air, Sky. Your whole back should be grounded on the floor, soles of the feet towards the sky, towards the roof. And just gently pulling on the feet in the direction of bringing the knee towards the ground. You can rock side to side here if that's comfortable for you. Adding a little massage to the back, or you can stay at the center. Taking a couple deep breaths here before we enter our Shavasana. I'm going to come into a bed like Shavasana, bringing my feet to the outer edges of my mat and the knees towards the center to really open up my lower back region. You can feel free to join me in this uh, version of my Shavasana or you can do a straight leg Shavasana. You can also turn towards your side if you're not comfortable on your back at this moment. Um, and you can also go against the wall and bring your legs up on the wall and bring the circulation down from your feet. Whatever you prefer. We'll be here just for a little moment. About one minute of just deep breaths together. Making sure you're completely relaxed in your body releasing into the ground beneath you.
feel free to stay in the Shavasana for as long as you like after the practice. Or join me in slowly activating the body again, taking a couple deep breaths, filling the body with new oxygen. Inflating and deflating. Slowly meeting together in a comfortable seat. Keeping the eyes closed, just feeling the movement. <sighs> feeling the circulation flow back down into your body like a water stream. Return to your normal breath. Feel your nice long spine, open heart, relaxed shoulders. And bring your hands to heart center. Thank you for practicing with me today. Namaste. Hope you enjoyed the practice. If you have any questions, I'd be happy to hear. Thank you. Bye.